guys hi happy Monday so I woke up this morning want a little company so I decided you know what I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with my peeps today so hence we have a little bit of vlogging this morning and it's gonna be kind of a lackadaisical casual day nothing major but I did want to go ahead and just kind of hang out with you guys so as you guys saw I already made my coffee I made me some of the Starbucks cinnamon dolce, I believe. It smells really cinnamony. <laughs> and it is very good though, actually. Really, really good. Whenever I make my coffee, I put the same thing in it. A couple of creamers, a little bit of Splenda, and I keep it pushing. But yeah, I also, I don't know, whenever I get a craving and I I love me some oranges, some just fresh sliced oranges, so Got me some oranges this morning and I also grabbed a protein bar, but I'm really not sure that I'm feeling this this morning. You know, it's a good little source of protein. I have the strawberry uh, protein bar from Kellogg's. It has like 12 grams of protein in there, but I kind of have to be in the mood to eat that. So I don't know if I'm going to eat that, but I wanted to um, come in my beauty room this morning because I got in a delivery that I ordered a couple of weeks ago from Revolution Pro. When I was on Instagram, I saw that they had released, I guess, some skincare items or some new skincare items called like Miracle Skin. So I got curious, <laughs> you know, I'm like Revolution Skincare, hmm, let's see. So since I wanted to kind of try out some new skincare, I decided to go ahead and purchase some of the items. Now, some of these items came in this cute little bag. I think it was maybe about four items that came in this bag, but I ordered a couple of extra items when I got this. And so I just kind of threw those in here as well, just for easy carrying. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys these skincare items. And from what I understand, I guess after four weeks, your skin is supposed to be, um, you know, transformed if you will <laughs> so yeah just um i'll show you guys what i got but i'll show you the stuff that says miracle skin first because i guess that's the stuff that was released you know with this miracle um what is it called miracle skin items so this first one here is called the miracle skin glow enhancing serum for all skin types it says youthful complexion yeah skincare secret to a, a youthful complexion so anywho this is what this one looks like let me go ahead and open this up but yeah i figured i would um oh they have it wrapped in here pretty nicely i guess so it won't break i'm assuming this is glass yeah oh that's pretty so that's what that looks like that's what the serum looks like hopefully you guys can see that but yeah, that is what the serum looks like. So excited to try that out. The next item I have here is this Restore Lip Balm Day and Night. Comes in this cute little box. And this is what this looks like. Oh, that's cute. So just a little jar. And let me see, it probably has one of those little caps on it. Yeah, it does. But that's what it looks like on the inside. Regular lip balm. Doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Smells like nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else did they come out with? This Miracle Eye Cream. Of course, you have to have a eye cream in your skincare arsenal. And this is, oh, that's pretty. That's what that jar looks like for the Miracle Eye Cream. Hmm. I don't know. It has a little bit of like a chemically or a chemical smell to it. Looks kind of interesting in there. Mm hmm. We'll see. Because I'm going to use it. And I'm going to try my hardest to use it regularly for the four weeks so I can truly see if it makes any difference on my face or on my skin. I don't know. This one is the Miracle Cream Supercharged Skin Care. It's a skin hydrant. 
So it comes in a box like this. They're all in the same white and gold packaging. Oh, that's pretty. So that is what the Miracle Cream looks like. And let me see. Ooh, that looks nice and thick. Ooh, it smells nice. It's not any type of strong perfume or anything, but it smells nice. It smells like a nice face cream. So that's what that looks like. Exciting. And I don't know, I guess I must have really been in the mood for a new, <laughs> a new face cream because on top of the Miracle Skin items, um, oh, and here's the last one. But on top of that, I bought a couple of more moisturizers. Like, girl, what was you doing? But this is called a Miracle Balm. Hmm. It's a moisturizer, moisturizer or high, you know, hydra. What is it called? Whatever, a moisturizer. You know, it's hydration. And it comes in a tube like this. Sorry if you guys can't really see it. But yeah, so this is the Miracle Balm, supercharged. And it has one of those little things on there, so I can't really smell it. But once I open that up, I'm, it probably doesn't smell like anything, quite honestly. Um, and then I purchased this Super Dewy Super Balm. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I don't know why I was purchasing so many moisturizers. Does this have a thing on it? Yeah, it has a thing on it too but this one is super dewy so I guess I can use this if I want to you know my skin to be really really hydrated and super dewy and then this last one here is a collagen boosting moisturizer so I know why I got this you know to kind of help boost my collagen okay um as you guys saw I do take like a whole a plethora of pills every morning. I take my multivitamin. I take a hair, skin, and nails. I take um, iron. I take magnesium. What else do I take? I take a B12 complex. I also drink um, the antioxidant and, um, you know, fruit and vegetable complex. <laughs> I take a lot of stuff in the morning just as a preventative measure, quite honestly, because I don't have to take anything. There are no pills that I have to take. I'm not on anything for any type of medical condition I have. So in order to try to, you know, keep my body as healthy as I possibly can, even though a lot of people say oh, all those supplements and vitamins and stuff, they really don't get into your system or whatever. I'm like, look, they can't hurt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So because of the fact that I know I don't get my vitamins and nutrition from my food, because quite frankly, I don't eat enough food to get all of my vitamins and nutrition in my food. I take vitamins and supplements and all kind of stuff just to help to keep me as healthy as possible. So the one thing I do need to work on, though, is drinking more water. OK, so, yeah. After I finish my coffee, that's what I'm going to start working on today is drinking more water. But anyway, back to this. This is the collagen boosting <laughs> um, restore moisturizer. And it has like a little, you know, cap on here. And yeah, so I want to try out this whole skincare system from Revolution, y'all. I wouldn't say this stuff was like cheap. It definitely wasn't cheap. But uh, compared to other skincare, you know, it was definitely more affordable. So we'll see what they're talking about. But I really do like this cute little carrying case. You know, I can use this when I travel if I want. And I like it. So very, very cute. Oop, I forgot one. But yeah, I don't really have a whole lot on my agenda for today just putting around the house opening some packages kind of you know doing some stuff um i also i got a pr package you guys i got um a dm from milk makeup okay why they want to send something to little old me okay i don't know but they did <laughs> 
<laughs> and so they asked me, you know, if they could send me some stuff. And I was like, yeah, of course you can. I'll try it. And so, yeah, they sent me this cute little box of goodies. So, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to open this with y'all, okay? I'm going to open it with you lucky bunch of people that decided to hang out with me today, okay? So, yeah, they sent me a little list of what's in here. It's so cute. I love how they ship their stuff. It's so cute. Let me see if I can open this without making a mess. Okay. So it comes in this box like I showed you guys. And then it's like the little pack is like a little brown sack or a little brown bag. And it's so cute. Okay. So yeah, it's just telling me, you know, don't forget to tag them and all that good stuff um, when I post. So I probably will post something. Um, Y'all, my hair is just doing whatever it wants to do. Listen, it's early morning. Y'all chilling with me. Y'all can't expect me to be beautiful, okay? Not this early in the dog one morning. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not this early in the morning. Mm. Quit playing yourself, girl. Okay, so this is, whatever it is, it's in the shade Work. Lip and Cheek. Ooh, like a lip and cheek balm or something. In the shade Work. Oh, okay. So that's what that looks like. Really cute. Let's see if I can take this off here. I don't want to mess it up because you know I want to do a cute little Instagram or something with it. But that is the color on that. So I guess you can use it on your lips and your cheeks. So I got that one. And, uh, yeah, they sent me two of those. So this one is in the shade Quickie. So it's the same thing, but it's like more of a dark fuchsia shade. So that's pretty. What else we got? We have here some Milk Makeup Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. Yes. I'm so happy because it's like I just got a liquid makeup remover and I haven't tried it yet. But my favorite are the um, makeup removing balms. I just love to dig my finger in there and just, you know, emoliate, loosen up all of that eye makeup. So, yeah, that's what this one is. I don't know. And this is cool because it says hydro. So, I'm assuming it's going to be nicely moisturizing as it removes my makeup, child. Let me see. Don't smell like anything. It just looks like that. A nice, you know, balm. So, yeah, I'm excited about this because I love makeup removing balms. Don't know. I just do. Okay, what else? They sent me... Longwear Eyeliner Infinity. What color is this? Outer Space. So it's uh, black. So I'm assuming it's just a black eyeliner. Let's see if I can open this without tearing this box up. Oh, how cute. Black and white packaging. So that is cool. And let's see. What else did they send your girl? I have here Kush. Ooh. Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. A new brow gel for me to use. And it's clear. You guys know I love the Fenty. Fenty Brow Stick. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little packaging. I don't know, though. I really don't use the ones that are just like in a brush. You know, we use brushing in. But I'm willing to try it. So we'll see what happens with that. Oh, what else did they send your girl? Uh, let's see here. This is Kush. Is this mascara? Kush mascara. High volume conditioning mascara formula with heart shaped fibers. Oh, with cannabis seed oil, hemp derived. Hemp derived. <laughs> the way that they put hemp and cannabis and everything, it's like, what is that? Like a miracle plant or something, child? Because does it need to be in everything? Everything 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 so that's what it looks like cute little silver packaging and i'm gonna go ahead and open it up because i am oh okay nice and fluffy i like that okay yeah can't wait to try that out i haven't gotten excited about a mascara in a long time because i keep getting disappointed y'all and lastly, they sent me some of their Hydro Grip Primer. I already have this, already use it, already love it. Um, I think, do I have it? 
I don't think it's in my shop, my stash right now, but I'll show it just in case you've never seen it before, but this is the Hydro Grip Primer. Love this stuff, okay? Love it, love it, love it. I just tried out the e.l.f. one, you know, the e.l.f. dupe one. Love that one as well. So, yeah, so that's everything that I got from Milk. Thank you, Milk. <laughs> Thank you, Milk. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast, finish my oranges and my coffee, and then I'm gonna go into my closet because I do wanna do like a little, um get ready with me like on Instagram today. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just looking outside because I see this truck pulling up and I think they have a whole bunch of boards because I'm going to be getting a covering put up in my backyard. And so I see this truck pulling up with all these boards, but nobody notified me that they were coming today. So I gotta handle that. <laughs> okay, you guys, so as you can see, I'm in my closet. I have a few packages here. They came in from Amazon last night and I really did not feel like um, opening them last night. <laughs> so I just put them in here so I can open them today. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these with you guys, okay? Let me raise you up a little bit so my head's not cut off. <sighs> okay, so that's better. I know I ordered a couple of pair of shoes. So, child, the shoes be coming in these little beat up boxes. So, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay, so they are red. Oh yeah, I just ordered these. They came really quick. They are so cute. Now, listen. Y'all, look at how cute this shoe is. It has like the cute little fur on there and it's like super duper soft. It's ridiculously cute. <laughs> it's so cute. But yeah, I ordered these um, and look at the heel. So yeah, I'll go ahead and link these down below if you are, you know, interested. But I thought they were so cute. But the reason why I got these red ones was because I had already ordered the black ones. And when I saw these, I fell in love. Absolutely fell in love. They're so stinking cute. I mean, my fur is looking a little crazy right now, but they are so stinking cute and they look so cute on the feet. I'll put um a picture of how they look on my feet in here so you guys can see, but... <laughs> They are so cute. So I just had to get the red. So anywho, look like there's a little white fur in here. But yeah, anyway, so I got these. So cute. That's what's in there. And then these other shoes. This might be another red pair. Oh no, these are gold. I wanted to add, because I realized I didn't have any gold um shoes in my collection and i'm like i just got some really cute like gold and silver purses and i was like i need some shoes to go with like gold and silver bags and stuff so i ordered these oh these are pretty these is cute so that's what those look like if you can see that it's gold, but it's kind of like a glittery gold. You know what I mean? It kind of looks like you can wear it with gold or silver, to be honest with you. So, very, very pretty. And I really like um, shoes like this that have the chunkier heel, you know, because I'm less likely to break my neck <laughs> in a chunky heel. So, yeah, I cannot wait to style those. Those are so cute. Okay this i don't know what this is you guys let's check it out let's check it out okay so this is hair <laughs> i do be ordering hair on amazon you guys sometimes but like for me well with everything i buy off amazon honey i look at all the reviews i read so many reviews i look at so many pictures 
that, you know, I'm just trying, if it doesn't have any reviews or any pictures or like at least four to four and a half stars, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm just not. So these are actually clip-ins. So I bought these clip-ins. They're 14 inch and it's like a mixture of color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it through the plastic, but it's like, it has like that golden brown, a little bit of ombre blonde in there. And I love clip-ins, okay? <laughs> They're so easy. Right now, my hair is like super duper short. I cut my hair really, really short. I posted one picture on Instagram if you want to see what my hair looks like, my actual natural hair looks like right now. <laughs> it's super duper short and I actually love it. I love the option of wearing my hair in a super duper short hairstyle and then being able to just add extensions or clip-ins or whatever to make it longer right so that's just what i do <laughs> but yeah um it's in this netting here so but yeah if you want to see what my natural short hair looks like right now it is there's a picture of it on instagram but yeah so i just bought these clip-ins see this is a little bit this is silkier than i like i don't like super duper silky clip-ins because i like it to like match the texture of my own hair, which this hair, it matches the texture of my hair. But this is like a bit more silky, so I'll have to kind of finagle it just to try to make it match the texture of my own hair. But the color, I love this color of hair. I'll actually put a picture of my short hair right here, but I love this color. It's like it just does something it brings out something in my skin tone and i love it so yeah these are actually well they're supposed to be clip yeah i can feel the clips these are actually clip-ins so i usually get two so i know i have another one of these somewhere you know just to make sure i have enough clip-ins to go throughout my whole hair and it's like they're so easy because you could pop them in pop them out it just it's less hassle than actually gluing or sewing or attaching extensions into your hair it's more freedom you know the clip-ins give you more freedom so anyways got those and then this brand they always be sending a freebie so they sent me some lashes in here for free them some big lashes child <laughs> look at these lashes these are 5d 100 percent handmade lashes these mugs look big, okay? Sometimes I like wearing big lashes on a rare occasion. I don't know if you can see those, but that's what they look like. Super big, but cute. So I like when they put these little freebies in there sometimes. So I'll keep the lashes out so I can put those in my um, beauty room. Now this feels like a purse. Would you guys want me to do like a purse and shoe haul? Because I stay ordering stuff from Amazon, okay? So I can totally do like a shoe and purse haul from Amazon because I got plenty. And this is like, okay, so this is like a dupe, a dupe bag for, I think, who is it? Gucci? Is it Gucci that does this thing? But this is actually a nice quality bag. It feels good. And they had different uh, styles of it, I think. If I'm not mistaken, different styles, different colors. But it's like, you know, this is what it looks like. Kind of like that crocodile or whatever. And that's the back. Oh, that looks nice, actually. And it feels nice, too. It has this, like, gray metal chain and so this is cute really cute and it has more leeway here so yeah so the chain gets longer or you can double it up if you want it like that oh this is cute i like this i could definitely wear this with like you know a nice black dress for a night out or something for sure for sure you know so yeah, that's definitely, I think, I think it's a Gucci dupe. Is it Gucci that does those? Anyway, and then I had to 
try out one of these bags. I don't know if it's a Bottega dupe. I don't keep up with all of the um, designer brands and stuff. Because, child, ain't nobody trying to buy a bunch of designer bags. I'm just not, okay? And so, I got this one. One of these ones with the ropes. <laughs> it's already looking crazy. Child, how is this? Okay. Okay, so this, is this? Look at this. I don't even know. But this is one of the ones with all the little ropes all over the place. So I don't know if this is supposed to be up or it's supposed to be down. I think it's supposed to be down like that. But this is what this one looks like. And there's so many of them on Amazon that it's like you don't know which ones. Okay, so this needs to be tied in a knot. Ciao. You don't know you know which ones obviously this one has some decent reviews or else i wouldn't have bought it but some of them be super expensive on amazon even for the dupes and stuff and they be trying to charge shipping and stuff especially when something gets super popular and i just be like nah i'm good <laughs> nope i'm not about to pay for no shipping but anyway this is what this one looks like I'll have to figure out all of these straps and stuff later just to make it look decent. But this is what this one looks like. It's not too bad. You could tell it's like a cheaper version, you know, of the purse in question. But I wanted to get black instead of one of the other colors just to see, you know, if I did like it, then it's a bag that I can wear with multiple things. But yeah, it's it's kind of doing a lot, so... I'm going to have to figure out how to make it just act right <laughs> with all these straps on it. So, yeah, but that is it. That's all that I got from Amazon yesterday. <sighs> but, yeah, I'm in love with these shoes, you guys. They're just so cute. They're just so cute. Ah, I love them. So, you guys, I decided to go ahead and start trying out this Revolution Skincare today with you guys since I just got it and y'all hanging out with me today i may as well go ahead and start my four week trial today <laughs> um and so yeah that's what i'm going to do but what i realized is that i don't have any face wash from revolution or like a mask or anything like that so i'm just going to go ahead and use this elf super clarify cleanser it's a clarifying cleanser with niacinamide so I'm gonna go ahead and use this to really get my face nice and clean this morning before I go in with these Revolution products because I have the serum, I have like five different moisturizers, a lip balm, eye cream, <laughs> all that stuff. But what I did notice was that for this super dewy um, balm, that this one is for the face, the lips, and the skin. So you can use this like everywhere, all over your body. Um, for a super hydrated dewy look so that's the difference with that one so that was a little bit different this miracle balm is supposed to last I think up to 12 hours so that's what this um, super hydrating balm is supposed to do this one is supposed to last up to 12 hours this one is the one that's supposed to give you a nice healthy you're supposed to see a noticeable difference in your skin for it to be nice and hydrated and glowy. Your skin is supposed to be healthier and glowy with this after four weeks of use. So this is just the Miracle Cream, the regular Miracle Cream. And then of course, like I told you guys, I got this one, which is the Collagen Booster. So honey, I'm gonna put all this stuff on my skin after I wash it and then I'll let you guys know <laughs> my thoughts. So let's start with washing our face.
Okay, you guys, so first impression thoughts on using this Revolution Miracle um, skincare line. I would say, well, first of all, I really like this e.l.f. Super Clarifying clean Cleanser. I've never tried this one before, um, the Super Clarify. I use the Daily e.l.f. Cleanser all the time, and I love it. But this one is really nice. This one is nice. I like it. My skin felt super clean after I used it. But anyway, first impression. So the first thing that I used was the Miracle Serum. I really like this serum. Like, I could actually feel it on my skin and absorbing in my skin and it actually gave me a little bit of a nice glow right after I used it so that was nice um, the eye cream as you guys saw I went in with some of the eye cream and I just kind of let it set under my eyes while I went in with the collagen boosting um, moisturizer which is this one the collagen booster because you know I kind of like to let eye cream just kind of set and absorb a little bit before I rub it in. So I went ahead and used the collagen booster. This felt really nice as well. I like how this felt on my skin. It was just like, I don't know how to describe it, but very nice creamy moisturizer, but I could feel, I could tell that it was like trying to plump up my skin or whatever. So it felt really good. Now, um, I did go in with the, which was it? The Miracle Balm. <laughs> which is the one for the 12 hour protection and hydration on your face. And I could see why, because it honestly felt like I was putting a very thin layer of Vaseline on my face, which I don't like. I'm not a Vaseline on the skin type of chick. That's just not me. Okay. So as you can see, I actually look super shiny. I actually look like I put Vaseline on my face. And so I think the base of this is like you know, petroleum jelly type of a vibe to give you that 12 hour moisture and hydration and protection. But for me, I just feel like stuff is just gonna be sticking to my face all day. It's not <laughs> sticky per se, but it's not my vibe when it comes to a face moisturizer. I like creamy stuff, not necessarily like Vaseline -y type stuff. So that, I don't really see myself using that that often. Maybe on days where I wake up or I'm having a, a week of just super dry skin and I just really want to lock in some hydration and, you know, moisture into my skin after using the other moisturizers, I would put this on top and just if I'm having an in the house day where I'm just doing laundry and cleaning and doing stuff around the house to where it can just really hydrate my skin, then that's when I would use this Miracle Balm. But on a daily basis, absolutely not. And then also kind of the same thing with this Super Dewy, um, which is for the face and the body. I went ahead and just put a little bit of this on my hands just to kind of see, you know, how I felt about it. And honestly, I would probably use this one on my face more so than the Miracle Balm because even though this felt like it's kind of like a Vaseline type um, feel as well, I don't feel like, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't feel like my hands are quite as greasy and shiny <laughs> as my face. So although I don't really like this for my body either, because I'm not a Vaseline on the body type chick either. Um, I would use this probably on my face before I would use this because this is like a little bit more of a heavy situation. Now, I really wish that I would have used just the regular Miracle Cream on my face instead of the Miracle Balm because when I applied this, as you guys saw, I applied it to my arm this stuff is really nice. Now, this is my type of moisturizer for the face. Very nice. I really, really like it. It has a slight scent to it, but it's so slight that most people wouldn't even notice it. It's just very, very slight. Um, but yeah, I really like this. So the next time I do my skincare with this tomorrow, I'm going to use this instead of the balm. And then for the lips, the lip balm is very, very thin. Very thin. It's not like um most lip balms that i use that are a little bit thicker you know a little bit more sticky or give a little bit more va va boom or whatever <laughs> to the lips this one is very light very thin so if you like just a nice light thin lip balm then 
this will be good for you. It's not quite thick enough for me. Maybe I could just put on a little bit more and that'll resolve that, but it's a very light, thin lip balm, nothing crazy and thick. So it's actually quite nice as well. So those are just my first impression thoughts on these items. I would say if you don't like a Vaseline type <laughs> moisturizer, then stay away from these. Don't get the Miracle Balm and don't get the Super Dewy because I feel like it's really just a Vaseline base. I actually feel like I want to wipe this off of my face right now and just go in with some of the Miracle Cream because I don't feel like being sticky and shiny and I don't really like the way it feels on my skin. So those two I would definitely stay away from. So I probably am going to wipe this off and put on some of that Miracle Cream. Okay, you guys. So... The gardener is here, so that is that loud noise that you hear him blowing all the leaves away. But right now, I am getting set up to try out a palette. One of the palettes from my Shop My Stash. This is the Makeup by Yolando um, Royalty Palette. So it's this gorgeous, beautiful purple palette. I'm just pulling out all of my makeup items that I wanna use, getting my brushes together, and so, that's what I'm going to do now. I don't think I'm going to put all of that in this video. I'm just going to do a little montage with music for you guys. Showing me do this eye look. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm up to now. Um, I'm going to be using this Gucci foundation today. I've used it before and I feel like I liked it when I used it before. Um, this is what it looks like. Gucci Poochie Luchi, but yeah, I'm going in with the Gucci foundation today to see how I feel about it. And I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty primer. This is the Pro Filter. I haven't used this in forever, so um, I feel like I never really had any strong feelings about it one way or another. I think it was just like okay, you know. So I'm gonna be using that today, but. This noise is getting on my nerves, so let's just go ahead and jump into me doing this look. So you guys, I decided to just go in with mascara today. I'm not going to put it on any lashes because I really want to see how this Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift mascara will do just on my own lashes. It's hard for me to tell a lot of times because I always, you know, wear falsies now. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my own lashes since... Honestly, I really don't have anywhere to go today. Only thing is I didn't use eyeliner with this eye look, so I might get tempted to put on some lashes later. But yeah, I'm really curious as far as this mascara, you know, if it's any good. I'll be giving mascara a hard time because none of them really just seem to do anything major but with this being Maybelline and it's called Falsies Lash Lift I'm assuming it should do something you know so I'm gonna put a few coats of this on and then you guys can let me know in the comments what you think okay so I went in about two or three times 
Let me see if I can get more of a straight on view for you guys. And that's how it looks compared to my regular lashes. It's decent. It's actually decent. Yeah, I only went in like two, maybe three times at the most. So, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, you guys, so I did both eyes. And you can kind of see with the white background behind me, like the length that is given. It's not bad. It's not bad, okay? So, yeah, it's it's decent. I won't be so tough on this one. It's decent because I'm cool right now. I don't feel like I have to put on any falsies. But anyway, this is not a review video. But since you guys are watching this video, <laughs> uh, my first impression thoughts on this palette. But y'all already know, I love playing in makeup by Yolando. She just never fails me. Her eyeshadows are so pigmented, easy to blend. They stay all day. It's just... Her shimmers are beautiful. Okay, my inner corner pop is actually the highlighter, the Huda Beauty. Um, actually, I didn't put any highlighter on my cheeks because I saw that that blush from Sydney Grace had glow in it already. So I didn't put no highlighter on my cheeks. That's the highlight from the blush. But on my nose, <laughs> of course, you can see that Huda Beauty highlighter here and here. And I did use that for my inner corner pop. Okay, so yeah, but... Plain and Makeup by Yolando. She never fails me. Love it, love it. On my lips, I did line it with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This one is in the shade On Ice. So I got this not too long ago. It's called On Ice. And I went in with my Fenty Beauty, one of my cream lip glosses. And child, y'all know I cannot read this. So hopefully y'all can see it and it's not upside down. If it is, I'm sorry. Let me turn it this way just in case it's upside down. <laughs> But anyway, that's what I have on my lips today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make myself look halfway decent so I can pick out an outfit. And I have to take pictures for Instagram anyway. So yeah. Now this Milk Makeup Setting Spray, okay, I used it today. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I have used it before, but not enough to really, you know, get a vibe. But this is the Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray from Milk Makeup. Y'all, I'm feeling it. I like, I really like the finish of my makeup. Sometimes when I go in with a setting spray and I let it dry down and stuff, I tap my face with um, just a clean paper towel just to make sure everything just looks nice and smooth and just stays in place. But honey, I didn't do nothing after I put this on and fan my face. This is the finish. Loving it. Okay. Loving it. So yeah, I think later on this evening, I'm going to try out this milk makeup, um, makeup remover balm and see how I like it. Cause I'm just like excited to try this stuff. So yeah, I'll try this out later and either you guys will try it with me or I will give you an update on how it works. So anyway, let me find something to wear.
Y'all, I be doing the absolute least <laughs> with these clip-ins. I don't like to do a whole lot of muss and fuss when it comes to my hair, okay? Um, I just make sure that my own natural hair is just kind of stays in place, you know, as much as possible. And make sure that the clip-ins are in a position where I can actually pull you know pull it behind my ears without a whole bunch of drama but with my hair being so short right now you know it can be a headache but yeah i like to have my air hair behind my ears so that it's not all up in my face bothering me and also i like to show my earrings a lot so <laughs> yeah i be doing the absolute least i just make sure that my hair pretty much stays in place and doesn't necessarily tail too much you know with the clippings since my hair is so my natural hair is so short but anyway so that's about it we got that straightened and flat iron um i did just throw on something to make myself decent nothing fancy like i said i'm probably not even leaving the house today okay but who knows so let me show you what i have on okay you guys so the lighting is not the best right here because I have light behind me. So the further back I go, the darker it gets. But I did just throw on this really light, airy, uh, white button-up shirt. As you can see, it has sleeves that roll up and they go down as well. This actually is part of a short set. So if I wanted to throw on the shorts, I could. Let me show you the shorts. So the shorts are actually the same like cotton linen material that go with this top so it's a cute little two-piece like airy short and top set if i wanted to wear this i could got this off of amazon um and it's very very comfortable i've actually already worn it <laughs> together so it's very comfortable and cute and all of that for the summer but yeah i just threw on the top with just a little white under bra so I could stay nice and cool and airy and I threw on these like boyfriend style jeans that I got from Old Navy last year I think they're actually borderline getting to be too big because I am on a weight loss journey right now but yeah I just threw this top on with these boyfriend jeans and my purple and black and white uh, Nike high tops so very simple and I just paired it with one of my um, spring break watches in purple I have a whole plethora of colors <laughs> for this watch and so yeah I just threw it on with that as you can see I have on a big K necklace that I got from Shein I love this thing it's actually cute my cross that I'm typically always wearing and some big gold hoops and you guys already saw I just straightened my hair child that is it like I said I, I don't plan on leaving the house but if I do I'm good to go I'm not sure exactly what bag I would pair with this um and with this top you can tuck it in you know have it tucked in or you know leave it out and it is big enough to where you can unbutton it tie it up if you like to do the tie up thing but I just like it like this. It's nice, big, casual, comfortable, and you know, it's all good. Nothing fancy. Boyfriend jeans, like I said. I think if I did pair a bag, let me grab my bucket bag. Okay, you guys, so yeah, I think I would probably pair it with this bucket bag since my tennis shoes do have black and purple and they're not just purple and white. I think I will go ahead and just pair it with this casual bucket bag. This is, you know, uh, one of those bucket dupe bags. I did get it from Amazon and it's actually quite cute. <laughs> it is. It's actually quite cute to just kind of throw your stuff in and, you know, be on your way. I almost forgot a scent today for you guys. So I picked Valentino. So I am going to go ahead and let this be my scent <laughs> for today. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Smells so good. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, 
this would be my outfit for today, you guys. Let me know what you think. It's very comfortable, very cool, casual, easy breezy. And I'll be looking decent if I leave the house, okay? So now I am just sitting here at my computer um, uploading the little clips that I just took for Instagram to try and create a little outfit of the day reel, I guess, <laughs> I'm going to try and put on Instagram. Now, it's not my first outfit of the day that I've ever put on there. I put a couple on there like a long time ago, but it's not something that I'm very familiar with or even comfortable doing. So it's not going to be my first one, but it kind of is my first one where I'm actually trying to add a lot more clothing, fashion, you know, stuff like that on my Instagram. So this should be interesting to see how it goes. I got to find some music that I want. And then once I get the beat of the music in my head, then it'll help me to edit, you know, to edit it in a way that it'll kind of match with whatever song I choose. So that's what I'm doing right now, you guys. And I guess what I will do is um, I'll put the reel right here so you guys can kind of see how it came out. I don't know. Um, I think I have to get more comfortable showing my personality and just kind of being free and having a good time with it. Cause that's really what I wanna do when it comes to like the fashion uploads, the try on hauls and stuff like that, that I do. I really want to just have fun. I wanna have fun, enjoy doing it, you know, just get dressed up. Cause it's just like as a kid, you know, you're dressing up however it is, sporty, dressy, sexy, fun, you know, I just wanna have fun with it. And I want that to come through in my reels and in my videos and stuff. So I'm about to go ahead and play with this and see what I can come up with. And I'll go ahead and just put the reel right here so you guys can check it out. So let me know what y'all think. Some of y'all might have already seen it if you follow me on Instagram, but yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Now I got to find some music for it. Hopefully I can find something good. Okay, you guys, so I finished my reel. It took me, I don't know, about an hour to do, I think. Yeah, I think it took me about an hour to do, uh, to cut it up, to find the music, to upload it, to do my tags and all that stuff. So not too bad. Um, for me, I think the hardest part is probably <laughs> actually doing my makeup and figuring out what outfit I want to put together. But it was kind of fun. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please go follow me on Instagram. Like my reel so that I can get some traction on it um, because I want to do more. So I'm going to try and do a few of those a week if I can um, just to kind of get reels to recognizing me as someone that posts fashion stuff as well as beauty. I don't know how that's going to work out. But anyway, I'm literally starving. I haven't had anything since the coffee and the oranges this morning and it's after two o'clock. That was like at eight o'clock when I first woke up and said hi to y'all. So it is like 2.15, I'm starving. I don't really know what I want to eat and I'm not really sure there's anything in the kitchen that I wanna eat. So we might have to make a run, okay? Okay, so I'm just grabbing my bag. And if we're gonna leave the house, we need some shades because it is very bright and sunny outside, okay? And <laughs> y'all see them two boxes? That one is Shein, I believe, and that one is Nike. So some tennis shoes, and I have no idea what that is from Shein because I placed like at least three orders since my haul. <laughs> so I don't know, it could be bathing suit stuff. It could be 
uh, some more dresses because I ordered like some white and black dresses. I wanted to do a try on haul for you guys of like some like basic white dresses and basic black dresses. You know, people have to go to like white parties or different type of events, weddings, stuff like that. So I wanted to see what their white and black dresses were giving. So it might be that. Not sure though. Um, but yeah, let me just grab some shades so I can go get me something to eat because I'm hungry. I don't know how this mount is gonna do for this phone because it's usually look at it it's like super low <laughs> but it's all I got the way that my um let me turn on this car because it's hot as I don't know what okay Hot, Lord have mercy. Okay. What are we going to eat, you guys? I need to start moving because this car ain't doing nothing but blowing hot air. I have no idea what I want to eat. I kind of want a salad, to be honest with you. I'm literally craving a Caesar salad. So, that might be where we are going to get us a nice, delicious salad. Maybe a salad and sandwich combo.
just hanging out with me all day today, okay? So, I'm about to head back to the house, um, let this food digest. I was supposed to work out today, y'all. When I first woke up, <laughs> before I even got my day started, after I took my vitamins, before I had my coffee or anything, I said, I am going to work out. You think I did? Y'all know I didn't, because y'all was right there with me. <laughs> Not working out. <laughs> well, I know some of y'all probably work out while you watching my vlogs, but today, right here, right now, while y'all hanging with me, yeah, y'all ain't work out either. Okay, so, <laughs> so we both guilty, but yeah, I definitely said I was going to start walking or ellipticizing or something in the month of June, and how many times have I exercised this month? <laughs> and that is not good okay so but the day is not over honey it's 24 hours in a day I can work out morning noon or night so I can't just cancel out today because I can definitely work out this evening before I go to bed before I shower and all of that so <sighs> I think that's what it's gonna be y'all I think it's gonna be an evening workout I have to force myself to walk even if it's just 30 minutes I prefer to do an hour but even if it's just 30 minutes I have to get back to walking or doing something you know I have a gym membership and everything child I have a whole gym in my house so quite frankly it's ridiculous and I'm thoroughly ashamed of myself <laughs> if we just being honest <laughs> If we just being honest, but no, I um I gotta get it together. Okay, I gotta make some progress, I gotta get it together. So hopefully that's the last thing you see in this vlog is me working out, okay? We'll see. I don't know how I feel. I just love the fact that the, that the girls are talking about God and giving him all the praise and the glory and inspiring other girls and teachers to start their spiritual journey. So I just feel like, girls, sometimes TikTok can be on my nerves. The girls feel like they just have to have an opinion on everything. I'm the type of person, if I care, I care. And if I don't, I don't. Everybody keeps asking me about how do you feel about quiet luxury. Girl, I don't care. I don't care what nobody's doing. I don't care what you wear. I don't care. If I want to be Gucci down to the socks one day and I want to be no monogram, no logo the next day, that's my business. So I don't give a damn what you do. So I don't have no opinion on five love this mama. I don't care. Okay? But when it comes to the spiritual journey, I will also be on the spiritual journey. There's so many people that inspire me when I hear them talk about their journey. Paula is one of them. I love listening to her talk about what God has done in her life because it's so inspiring and it just makes me want to continue to get closer to God. Like right now, I can't be I can't be honest. I have to be honest. Right now, my spiritual journey, one thing I'm going to say for me, everybody's spiritual journey is different. It looks different. Child, my spiritual journey, it be hard, okay? Sometimes it be real hard because I feel like every time I say, God, I trust you, he tests me. He be like, I'm a... Show me how much you test me. You trust me. As soon as I figure out I trust you, he gives me a test just to see how much I trust him. And I'm like, oh, one prayer that I was praying for him. I said, Lord, 2023, please don't give me no challenges. You know how they say, whatever make, kills you, make you stronger. Lord God, I've had enough. Don't give me nothing else that makes me strong. But I am strong, okay? And I'm in a season right now where well, I've been in the season now for a long time where God was telling me no to everything. Early on in my spiritual journey, every time God would tell me no, I would get frustrated. Kind of like a kid having a temper tantrum. Like, why are you telling me no, but you're telling this person yes? He would tell me no, 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 no. Then I went, that was a long time. But I feel now looking back, I know why it was a long time of God telling me no. Because I was being disobedient and still want to do my own thing. And every time he said no, I would still do it. So it was no journey, because no, no, no. And then I surrendered. And I was like, okay, you say no, no. As soon as I surrendered and started walking his way, y'all, he sent me down. Well, he sent me through a season of yes. When he said yes, it was yes to things that I couldn't even wrap my mind. 
I was just sitting here listening to G and she was just talking and what she was talking about was real interesting. So I was just listening to her, but yeah. So these, it looks like these are like all the black and white dresses that I ordered to try on for you guys, but I have to steam them. I don't like trying on a bunch of wrinkled stuff. No, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna spend the day steaming all of these dresses tomorrow and I'll probably film the try on haul Wednesday because today is Monday so yeah so I got my new all white I got these all white um Jordans because me and my friend I've been looking all over the place for some pink and white shoes either pink and white black Jordans pink and white and gray or pink and black and gray just some variation of like pink and black and white Jordans I don't have any pink Jordans so um she was like why don't we just paint you some you know because you see all the people on instagram and stuff painting them and so my girl nacy was like why don't we just try to paint some and you know make you some so anywho <laughs> we got to figure out the paint situation and child my stuff might be all crooked so anyways i got those if I change my mind, then I just have some all white Jordans, which you can't go wrong with, right? And yeah, so these slides, I, don't, I am really not a slide person, but I grabbed some of these because, you know, they're like easy to style. These go with a lot of different outfits. And so I went ahead and picked some of these up from Shein just to see, um, you know, how I can style them up. And then the clear heels, I got those because I just feel like everybody needs a pair of clear heels um, in their <laughs> closet. So I got those because those will pretty much go with anything. If I'm having trouble, you know, matching a shoe or something, those should suffice. So anyways, that is what was in my packages today, you guys. So I'm probably pretty close to closing out this vlog. Like I said, the only thing that I need to do this evening that I haven't done is work out. So if you see me working out at the end of this vlog, then you know I actually did it. If not, <laughs> pray for your girl, honey. Pray for your girl because I'm still working on it, okay? Okay.